A couple months ago, I saw a video on YouTube titled, and I quote, Run your car on water. This guy does just that, unquote. Of course, he does not run his car on water. He runs it off of electricity, which of course means he's using coal and um, uranium if he's running the, if he's getting electricity in the United States. I'll put a link up to that idiotic video. He is not running his car on water. He uh, made a system where he can use hydrogen to run his vehicle instead of gasoline or in addition to gasoline. But to get that hydrogen, he has to use the electrolysis. So he plugs the electrolysis device into the city power grid, and that's where he gets his electricity. He is not, of course, running it, uh, his car off of water. He's running it off of coal. I have been asked, oddly enough, um, twice today, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I've been asked twice, maybe it's the same person, if you wanted to run that car using electrolysis system, and instead of plugging it into the city grid, you wanted to use photovoltaic panels, how many photovoltaic panels does one need to run that car using hydrogen via water and electrolysis? Well, of course, the answer is not simple because you have to plug in a hell of a lot of variables. Um, what wattage solar panels are you talking about? How long are you willing to wait to produce that gallon equivalency of gasoline in hydrogen? You know, you can do one panel at, you know, 100 watts. And if you're willing to wait, um, you know, 40 or 50 days, you might get your gallon equivalency. Most people are not going to wait that long to, you know, run their car off of hydrogen. So I've taken the liberty of plugging in some of those numbers. I'm going to say that a photovoltaic panel from a company, um, I don't like to plug people, but I'm going to say Unisolar, Unisolar sells a 144-watt photovoltaic panel for $554. And I'm going to say that we want to produce that one gallon equivalency of um, uh, gasoline in hydrogen to run the automobile and we want that uh, one gallon equivalency, equivalency in 10 hours. And I am also going to say, finally and most importantly, if we do best case scenario for the efficiency of electrolysis at 23%, that is the cold process for electrolysis, we can use the hot process, which um, will be give, will grant a efficiency of about 50%, uh, actually about 48%, I guess, is the, um, the highest achieved so far for the hot process. But that takes energy, and I don't want to add that particular um, figure. So I'm going to say cold process, 23%. And plug in all the numbers, and what do I come up with? Well, to make the equivalent in hydrogen of one gallon of gasoline using 144-watt solar or photovoltaic panels, 10 hours a day, how many panels do I need, one need? 108. And that would cost $59,832 to get the 108 panels. And then you can make one gallon equivalency in hydrogen to run your automobile. And how far can your automobile go on one gallon equivalency of hydrogen? Uh, you might need, I don't know what uh, efficiency of vehicles are. Um, if you use, say, five gallons a day to run around town and do your um, chores and go to work and back, you would need, pardon me, 540 panels to fuel your vehicle with hydrogen using electrolysis. 504 solar panels, 
10 hours a day to run your automobile. And this guy says he runs his automobile on water. Crock of shit. Anyhow, I hope that I have answered the question. I see that there's a whole lot of ignorant, fucked hard morons out there putting comments in that uh, video's comment sections. Once again, I'll um, say I'll put the link up here. Saying, boy, what a great idea this is. Let's see how great that is if you want to have 504 panels. Pardon me, I should have done this times 45. Oh, hmm, two hundred forty-five thousand seven hundred dollars. Yeah, that sounds really worth it, doesn't it?